Shalom, everyone. Have you ever had a disagreement? Oh, of course you've had. Everybody has disagreements. Some of the disagreements can be pretty loud and very upsetting. Some disagreements can last for years and years. Some disagreements are very short, and they get to the point, and then they move on. I know many people who have strong disagreements and arguing with each other, and then right away after that, they become friends and buddies and as if it never happened. And I wonder, how is it possible for them to do that? And the answer really is that there are two types of disagreements. There is a disagreement, L'shem Shemayim, for the sake of heaven. And there's a disagreement that is not for the sake of heaven. In Perky Avos and Ethics of the Fathers, this is called Machlokas, every disagreement. Shehi L'shem Shemayim, that is for the sake of heaven. So Felis Kayim is destined to continue to be in existence. What does it mean? Why do we want to have a disagreement that's in existence? Well, it's simply different differences of opinion. It's not that they're arguments, that they're they're friendly disagreements. You believe in that, I believe in that. And uh what is a disagreement? It says for Sha'ina Sha'im Shemayim, so ain't so felis kayim. If a disagreement is not for the sake of heaven, it's a real arguing, you know, fighting, fighting disagreement. It's not destined to to um, to last very long at all. And the disagreements, the different opinions of the parties will not last at all. The Mishnah continues, What is an example of a disagreement that is for the sake of heaven? This is the machlokas, the disagreements between the schools of Hillel and Shammai, who are very famous. Hillel believed in this, Shammai believed in that. We generally um, hold like Hillel, uh, and uh, the minority holds like Shammai, although we're told that when Mashiach comes, when the Messiah comes, most of the time we'll hold by Shammai and not by Hillel. The two of them both had disagreements about a lot of matters of halacha, Jewish law, but nevertheless, they still stayed friends. And both schools, they intermarried among themselves. They were friendly with each other and they had a great deal of respect for each other. It's just that they had different opinions about matters of Jewish law. And these matters of Jewish law that they disagreed with continued to this day. So it's fine. It's good. And it's it's worthwhile to, um, to know that. The mission continues. What is a disagreement that is not for the sake of heaven? Zumach Lokas Korach. This is the disagreement of Korach, Kol Adasso, and all of his community, all of his congregation. In this week's Torah portion, we read about how Korach uh, disagreed with Moshe and rebelled against Moshe uh, to such an extent that he and his his uh, friends were all killed in a terrible plague and the earth swallowed them up alive. And their disagreement does not last at all. It's not part of Jewish literature as far as we don't hold like that at all. So how do we make sure that our disagreements are for the sake of heaven? And the answer is that we have to have basic rules to begin with. We're not taking it personal. It's not a personal thing. It's a matter of how to do something. You may have two, two partners in a business. One partner says we should sell to the masses. Another person says, no, we should, our product should be sold to an elite group and charge more money for it. Well, they're both, they both have good points, but ultimately one will prevail. But both of them are, are valid. We know that sometimes two people have a disagreement and they agree to follow one point of view. But later on, they'll realize, no, you know what? You were really right. I was really wrong. And we'll try the other approach as well. There are many, many different views of how things should be done. And some people believe in that and some people believe in that. But it should not be taken personally. And it should all be for a good cause and in a good spirit. And the most important thing, I think, is that it should be in a good spirit. It should not be because of ego or selfishness or any type of negative attitude. It should be for a positive, good purpose. We care for each other. We love each other. And we want to make sure that what we're going to do is the right thing. We all have disagreements, no question. We all have different points of view, but we should have respect for the other person's point of view as well. Shalom, everyone, and have a good week.